So let's talk about how to strengthen your red blood cell. But before I talk about that, I need to explain what a red blood cell does in your body. They're called erythrocytes, okay? And they're there as a method of carrying oxygen. And what they have in this red blood cell, it's like a sac with a bunch of hemoglobin. And that's basically uh, filled with iron and it connects to oxygen. So it allows oxygen to be transported through the body. And in one red blood cell, you have 270 million hemoglobin molecules. So it's quite a bit of oxygen that cell is carrying. Your body makes 2.4 million red blood cells every single second. And they're made in a factory inside your long bones. A red blood cell will last between 100 and 120 days. And it takes about one minute for a red blood cell to travel from your lung all the way through your body and back to the lung. So what the red blood cell is doing, it's going to the tiny capillaries and it's getting squished and it's pushing the oxygen into the tissues that way and it comes back without oxygen and then you breathe and it gets reoxygenated. It just does this over and over and over. The interesting thing about the red blood cell is it has no nucleus. That's the center of the cell. It has no DNA or RNA. Now, what's interesting about that is that viruses use your DNA to replicate. So the viruses can't hurt or mess with your red blood cells. Now, as far as the quantity of red blood cell, you have between 20 and 30 trillion red blood cells. That makes up 70% of all of your cells. So you have a lot of red blood cells in your body. The other interesting thing about the red blood cell is that it can't use ketones for fuel. It uses glucose. Now you might say, well, oh, well, where's that going to come from? Well, your body can very easily make glucose. It's called gluconeogenesis. It can make it from ketones. It can make it from fat. It can make it from protein. So you don't need to consume glucose to feed your red blood cell. Now, if you're deficient in red blood cells, uh, like you're anemic, whether you have an iron deficiency or a B12 deficiency, and I don't want to create a video on problems with your red blood cell at this point, but if you do have not enough red blood cells, you're going to be tired, shortness of breath. You're going to feel weak because you, you don't have enough oxygen uh, through the body. So now the question is, what can you do to strengthen your red blood cells? Well, first of all, you have to make sure you have enough iron, okay, but not too much. And you want to make sure you have B12. Very, very important, okay? But there's something else you can do, and it's called intermittent hypoxia training. Now, what does that mean? Intermittent, meaning you're going to do something and then not do it. Hypoxia, meaning without oxygen or low oxygen training. A lot of top athletes do this, and there's quite a bit of research. Uh, whether they use a mask when they're working out, or they're in a chamber, or they have a hypoxic uh, uh, tent, uh, there's many different ways to actually do this training. So basically you starve oxygen to the body uh, for a little bit and then you breathe back and forth. Now what I like to do is I like to use a hypoxic mask, not when I'm doing certain type of exercises where I'm not breathing very much. I like to do it when I'm huffing and puffing. So I will wear this mask for about two minutes and then I'll take it off for two minutes and I'll put it on for two minutes and I'll restrict my oxygen. I've done other videos on hyperbaric oxygen therapy, which is really, really cool because it puts oxygen into your brain, into your tissues. It's very therapeutic. What's fascinating about this therapy, it's the exact opposite. We're taking oxygen from the body. Now, at first you might think, wow, this is a stupid thing to do. But if you really understand what's happening, it's actually quite smart. When you starve the body of oxygen, for a short period of time, not a long period of time, you trigger certain genes that create significant changes within the red blood cell. You increase the red blood cell production by up to 10 times. So instead of making 2.4 million red blood cells every single second, you're making 30 million red blood cells every second. That is huge you also increase the size of the red blood cell. Now, what is the significance of this? You're basically going to carry way more oxygen. 
So when you do a workout or exercise, you're going to last a lot longer. When you sleep, you're going to sleep better. You're going to have a better quality of sleep. And also, there's various therapeutic benefits to things like chronic lung disease or asthma or hypertension, diabetes, or even Parkinson's. So you're driving more oxygen to the tissues. And if there's an area of your body that's not healing well, um, this can help it. And it will also stimulate your antioxidant reserve, especially in the heart. And that's why this therapy is also cardioprotective as well as neuroprotective. So if you want more information about intermittent hypoxic therapy, I created a video. It's right here. Check it out.